This video is going to cover the Lenovo Legion Go BIOS, how you can back it up, as well as how to update it. It looks like we're going to end up seeing a lot of beta BIOS releases and things like that coming through different sources on this device. So I thought I'd take the opportunity to go over exactly what you should do before you update to these and to always consider your sources. So in this case, it's not through an official channel. I'll link it in the description below where you can get Get it but it's important to be mindful that although some have checked certificates and said this is valid you always run a risk when you're using bios or drivers that are from unofficial channels that being said let's go ahead and get started so i'm going to go ahead and download that bios and while that's getting ready i'm also going to go to download 7-zip and we'll just click download on the first option at the top here Once that's finished downloading, we can open it and then click on install. And now the beta BIOS is complete here. We'll go ahead and open the folder. Now typically, you're, if you're just installing 7-zip, you're not gonna have this default option here. So normally it would be under Windows Explorer. So what you'd have to do is right click here, say open with, choose another app, you won't see a 7-zip file manager up here. Instead, you'll have to say, choose an app on your PC. Browse to the 7-zip folder is under program files. And then double click on the 7ZFM file. And then say, always open in this. 7-zip is a much better program to handle zip files. Then inside here, we just have an executable. But if you right click on it, then there's an option open inside. And now we'll see all the files that are actually packed in that executable. So we'll click on extract and then we'll browse to a location. In this case, I'm just going to call it BIOS update. Say OK. So now we've extracted the files. We'll need to just browse to them real quick. inside of this BIOS update folder, you're going to find this isflash.bin. That's the actual BIOS update. We just need to get it into a different folder so the application doesn't see it when we try to back up our BIOS. Otherwise, it's gonna to want to install that BIOS instead. So we're just gonna call this update and drag that file in. And then now in order to back up our BIOS, we're actually gonna to have to open up command prompt so you can just search for cmd and then we want to choose the option to run as administrator and then we just need to go to this path so cd backslash enter cd space bios underscore update all right and then we're gonna need to call the executable file so this is called h2offt-wx64 FFT. Let's just move this out of the way a little bit. Dash WX64. And then we're going to need to give the BIOS back a, a name. So I'm just going to say BIOS underscore backup. This is today's date. And it needs to have dot bin at the end. And then another space and a dash and then uppercase G. And this is going to start, and once this gets to 100%, it should be completely done, and we should see a file here shortly. All right, so read progress says completed, and we're presented back to the main folder that we're in. Now we're going to need to make another folder in this BIOS update folder. And we'll just call this backup. We'll put that backup binary file inside there. And now that we have that in there, we're actually gonna wanna take the update one and either copy or cut and paste it in to the main folder because the update itself needs to be inside the same folder as the application. And you might want to take this backup folder and put this onto an external drive or something just to have it for safekeeping. Now we can go ahead and just double click on this it's going to search and immediately find the update file. 
and we're going to get a prompt if we want to proceed with the BIOS update. At this point, make sure that all your other programs and applications are closed, that are visible, and make sure to plug in your power cable. Once that's ready, go ahead and click next, and we'll click next again, and we'll click next again. And your system's going to reboot. And we're just going to let it run through this update and get through the progress bar. Should just take a few moments. And you might get a black screen for just a little bit. Just be patient and let it completely pass through its reboot cycle. After it has a black screen, it's going to take a couple of minutes to complete a reboot cycle. So just be patient. Don't press the power button. Just let it do its thing. Now here it is again performing the update a second time around after the black screen. Again, just be patient on this. Just let it complete its cycle. If you're not comfortable with doing this, please just wait until the official BIOS update is released as this is experimental and there could be some risks involved. After the second time of the progress bar, it's going to reboot one more time then you should see the Legion boot screen and then it should boot back into Windows successfully. Once you're back in Windows, you should just go to start here and type in msinfo32 and that'll quickly tell you what BIOS version you are currently on. Here we can see that this BIOS version has a date of 11 to 2023. So this seems to be the current BIOS. So we confirmed that we successfully updated and that's pretty much it for any BIOS updates that you may come across in the future on this device. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe and have a great day. I'll see you next time.